Okay, welcome back to Spectre Comics. It has been a long time since I've posted a video. I think it's been about six or seven months, so I should probably say welcome back to myself to my own channel. But we're glad you're here. To jump back into it, we're going to do a How to Draw a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tutorial. We're going to draw Michelangelo. Now, back in the 80s when I was a kid, there was two different versions of the Turtle comics. There was the black and white, gritty, dark, Eastman and Laird original comics. And then there was the colorful... Archie comics. Uh, I want to point out I was a fan of the original black and white comics. In fact, the most valuable comic I own is an original first print copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number four by Eastman and Laird. So today I'm going to walk you through drawing Michelangelo, one of my favorite turtles. So grab a piece of paper and a pencil and let's get started. First thing we're going to do is go to the internet and search for nunchuck action poses because Michelangelo uses the nunchuck as his weapon of choice. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start using that um, the model that we found to create the basic body action pose with real simple shapes. Lines, boxes, start with the head, the chest, the torso, the waist box, the legs. I'm going to shrink the uh, model down here because I'm running off the page. But again, we're just using really simple shapes to get the basic body form down. Got the arms here, got one arm in a bent pose close to the body, and then the other, other arm is going to extend out uh, in a strike pose. And we're just really forming. Now, this, this, what we're drawing here is real sketchy. We're going to use it as the underlay for our actual drawing. So we're going to actually, once we finish drawing this, we're going to put it into half tone, and uh, we're going to draw over it with darker lines in a different layer. So we're gonna start with the head. Now turtles have more of a wide head, uh, more wider than a human. So we're gonna start with a wide oval. I'm gonna draw the, bisect the face so we know which uh, direction he's looking and then we're drawing the eye line. Turtles have a dome head, they have a snout and they wear a bandana. So I'm gonna kinda of draw the eyes. I don't typically draw eyeballs with the turtles. More just, I keep them white. The snout comes out, and teeth are kind of gritting. I'm gonna draw the neck. Now we're gonna move on to the chest piece. Now turtles don't have a, a typical chest. They have more like a chest plate. And it's divided into six sections here. Tapers towards the bottom of the torso going to go ahead and draw the shoulders and the arms and we're going to fill out the shell in the back. Again we're just following the lines from our underlay model uh, and we're still keeping the drawing really sketchy. I'm not even filling in all the detail. It's just really sketchy. We're going to go back and clean this up in a little bit after we get the full pose down and all of the basic body parts um, filled in. Now remember turtles have two fingers and a thumb. So here he's gripping one of the nunchuck in a hand that's uh, bent towards the body. We're gonna create the legs, which are in a strong, ready to strike pose. Turtles wear knee pads, so I'm gonna cover the knee joint with the pad. And then he's pushing off with this foot. So he's got his toes, the balls of his foot, and then you've got the arch and the, the heel. And then the other leg is extended out, again, putting the knee pads at the joint, filling in the calves. And this uh, this foot's at a different angle. It's kind of stuck on the ground and, and towards the camera. I just filled in the bandana. I always liked to draw the streamers uh, as if the wind was blowing or he was in motion and the streamers were trailing from his mask behind his head. So this is the basic body forms. And now we're going to go and start cleaning up all of the lines. So we're going to start at the head. We're going to get rid of all the, the sketchy lines and, and really just erase. And when I draw in Photoshop, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, I like to zoom close in and just start erasing the lines because we've got, uh, I set my drawing up, if I didn't mention this earlier, at 300 pixels. So when you set up your drawing, 
minimally use 300 you can go higher but you know file size is an issue so the higher the more pixels you set it as the higher and larger your file is going to be so again we're just going around cleaning up we're going to add some details into the knee pads now i constantly rotate the drawing uh, because i like to draw towards me i like to draw down because it's easier to draw down because you have more control of the pen so I will rotate the canvas in Photoshop so that I can easier, more easily draw the lines and get them real smooth. Now, some versions of Photoshop, the version I have does not have a line stabilization tool, which lets you draw, even if your hand is real shaky or wiggly while you're drawing, uh, it will give you a smooth line. I do not have that in this program, so I am forced to go and you know, sketch and then clean up as I go along. So again, it's just a process of sketching and cleaning up and getting the lines where you want them. So here we're just rounding out the toes. Turtles have two toes on their feet. Um, I just used, now I actually changed the angle. You can see the underlay because I didn't like the, the straight on view of the side of the foot. So this is a little more, uh, it's more of a three quarters turn as the leg comes out and the knee goes back, it's, it's like he's pushing off. This, uh, this angle worked a little better for the pose I was doing. So I modified the, from, from, the, from the reference image, uh, the leg. So we're just cleaning up uh, the heel here. I'm going to go to the other leg, and we're just going to fill in the rest of the lines. Now, uh, the turtles have a gap between the, the front chest plate and the, and the shell that kind of encloses that area so that there's holes created for the arms and legs to kind of pop out of. Now even though the turtle's uh, body is hidden by most of the shell like the front and the back uh, they still have the the muscles are still referenced as if they're just wearing the shell as a kind of like a costume. Now this front facing foot has a different shape. I started with just a basic triangle and then uh, started with a rectangle at the front of the triangle, and those are the toes. And then the whole foot is basically a wedge, and you just got to get the right angle. This was, uh, it's pretty challenging to draw feet, sometimes at different angles, even though they seem pretty simple. But you just got to get the, the right angle. And if you start with a triangle, I find it it's much easier to draw uh, the feet. This foot was a little too big, so I just reduced the size nice thing about Photoshop is you can scale things up or down and clean them up if they don't look right. Uh, here's, again, that, uh, the, that gap between the shell and the chest. And this angle here that's kind of forming into the arm is would, would normally come off the pectoral muscle and as the arm extends out. Uh, turtles don't really have a neck, but I draw this little reference to kind of like this part of the, of the neck. Going to go ahead and clean up the shoulders. So we've got the, the lats and the shoulders and then the bicep. Now let's extend it out in a strong striking pose and just clean up the bicep. Now the, when a bicep is curled, it, it's more rounded and when it's extended out, it's, it's more flat. So his arms extended out, he's going to have more of a flat bicep. Now, I did not like that hand pose either, so I went ahead and redrew it. Uh, I could not get that hand right, so it took me a bunch of tries. As you can see, I've got some sketches around here of trying different poses of holding the nunchuck, and I, I kind of landed on this one here where he's holding the nunchuck and then kind of flicking it out. Uh, so the fingers, so the thumb is straight out and the fingers curl around it. I use the marquee tool to get some straight lines. Um, I'll use the uh, the lasso marquee <clears throat> to go ahead and create a box and click around, and then you use the stroke tool to to fill in the lines at a certain thickness, and then you just go ahead and erase. So that's what I did with the nunchuck, and then I'm just rounding out the edges because the nunchuck are like long cylinders. Here I'm just cleaning up the straight lines with the marquee tool again. We're going to round out the top, and this is the 
you know, one section of the nunchuck in the striking hand. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to rotate it so I can get the same size. And we're going to use the stroke tool again to fill it in, locate it where we want. And now it is in motion. So we're just got to connect the nunchuck with a string or a chain. In this case, we're just going to put some rope in between again with the marquee tool to get a straight line. And we turned off our underlay layer and we're just go ahead. We're just going to go ahead and clean up the rest of the turtle shell. Um, Turtles have a, a kind of a belt that they keep their weapons in that wraps around their whole body. Again, I rotate a lot just to get the proper, you know, allow myself to draw towards myself to get more control of the pen. Filling in the back side of the shell. Now you can use, I, I, you can see I created a second layer here so I could draw through the lines without erasing some of the finished lines already. And then you can just go ahead and merge the layers together when you're done. Just cleaning up the little gap that holds the shell to the chest piece. And that is it. So this is our drawing. Now, we're going to go ahead and do a, uh, a color version. We're going to color this in another video. So stay tuned for that. So that's how you draw Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I hope you had fun following along. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've got a new Instagram, so go ahead and follow me there. I'll have the link in the description below, Space Misadventures. That's it for today, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.